What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. In the last episode, we managed to take down a Stormbird, uh, an Apex Stormbird, no less, who unfortunately killed our water wing, poor thing, but we got another one, thank goodness. And uh, we also were able to get ourselves another aerial flight thing taken care of with that. We also got the last of the figurines, and we're going to actually be putting those to use at the start of this episode. But first things first, we do have an audio data point. I'm going to play this. The marketing was crass, and the food was worse. But whenever a new Pangea hollow came out, profits blasted through the roof. People will eat anything if you feed it to them with the right spoon. Okay, so I just wanted to get that little data point out of the way because it's nice to get all this little insight from Laundra as much of a scumbag as he is. All right, so right here, access console. We got all of these things. This right here, this is the Dino Digit Quiz, okay? Dino Digits. Your next question is, in the first Pangea, Jane's ID can be seen on her first day at Port Tech. What is her ID number? I'm actually going to get rid of that. Somewhere. But you can see that with each and every single one of these questions, there is going to be a certain number we have to input, and each one of these pertains to the figurines. Let's go into our notebook and take a look at all of these. So if I go into my collectibles, and I go all the way down to the Pangea figurines, uh, you will notice that... By examining these, we actually get some information that relates to each and every single thing. A mild mannered Jane arrived for her first day at Portex. She was just employee 4331. Little does she know she'd be face to face with a deadly dimorphodon mere hours later, the first of many she would defeat in combat. Now her iconic first foe is soaring out of the hollows and onto your shelf with this limited re release of the DIM 279 Pangea figurine. So you notice that there's a digit number there 4331 for that one. For this one, we got. Someone calling Jane, Lifeline Talons, an expert detail on this 115 green raptor figurine. We'll have you running from the raptor raid, etc., etc., etc. You get it. 115. Uh, he's cleverly expanded about 1,051 of the deadly beasts. So that's 1051 there. This one, 378 portals and what climbs through, but this crimson skeleton razor clawed red raptor, 125 scale model, etc., etc. This one, 6837. And then finally, we got 785. So let's start going to each and every single one of these. We'll start with this one. Welcome back to Dino Digits. The next question is, what was the portal code to reach Pangea in the original Pangea Holo? So, back out, go into notebook, reference the collectibles, go back. So, traveler with key 68387 into their Pangea portal console. We're gonna enter it as fast as possible. Six, oh, that's backwards. A six, eight, three, seven. And there's the first one. Okay. Huh. Dinosaur hologram appeared. So what happens if I get all five? I guess we'll find out. So on to the next one. This was, I believe, Jane's ID, right? Yes. Okay. So that one is, if I go back, I think that was the very first data point. And that one is 4331. So another four digiter. I wonder if we can actually stay in the menu when I'm about to do this. So four, three, 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 one. There we go. On to the next one. Can I? Can I stay? Yes. Okay, I can stay in this. Okay, I believe that was the third point. I hate that it always takes us back to the top. Let's see, 378 portals. So let's just plug three, seven, eight in. I can repeat the question, but I i mean, I wonder if the notepad, actually also we do have this here too. What does this one say? Oh, we've already read lo loyalty. That's a, that's not a new one. Welcome back to Dino Digits. The next question is, how many pre-recorded messages came with the limited edition Talk To Me Reggie? <laughs> okay, open our notebook again. Back to, I keep going to data points, collectibles. I think this was the second one. Um, yep. Wait, no, 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 no. That is not it. So the fourth one. No. Oh, this, there it is. A seven, eight, five variable responses. Okay. So plug that in next. All right, last one. Here we go. Ready? Here's our next question. How many raptors does Trevor claim he has 
escaped from in the siege of Pangaea. I think this was the third one, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, no. That was that's not it. The second one. One thousand and fifty-one. Okay. conquering dinosaur hunter but you're the real multiverse master for tracking down all these prehistoric predators <laughs> oh crap trevor's got queen rex after him again gotta get back to the hunt see you in pangea jane out all right so we got a face paint out of that is that all we get out of this or is there like a weapon of some sort too I mean, there's got to be more to it, right? Can I climb up here? Can I get something? I like your... Can I have your gun? I want your gun. I know you're just a statue, but... It looks like that's it. We just get a face paint out of that. Or did we, did I get myself a, something else as well? I don't think I did. It was just a face paint. I mean, that's pretty cool. We got collectibles. We got a, a really interesting, like, dinosaur claw mark face paint out of it. But that kind of seems to be about it. Okay. Well... I guess from here, there is still some more things that we can explore around here. So we've already been to the armory, like I said. Reggie's Adventure, though. I did want to check this out because I could have sworn there were some things over here that we completely missed. And I know this was a more kids-focused area, but I thought there was, like, a bunch of stuff over here that, like, I can actually do stuff with. Uh, Aloy, can you... I know you can grab onto that. I know there's a bunch of machines over here, too, and I have to be wary of them. Come on, Aloy, land on that. Why can you not land on that? I know you can walk across those things. Like, for real? Also, oh, that long... Okay, that long leg might give me some issues. Because I could have sworn I could get up to those. Well, hello there, friend. Here, let me just take care of you. Hold on. Everything here has to be a freaking apex, so there's not really much I can do with that. Ow. Hold on. Do your stupid fire attack. Thank you. And die. Okay, we got it. Oh, no. Hold on. Snap, Ma. Come here. You're not an apex, are you? Oh, gosh, dang it. I can never... I can't override these guys. Ugh, I really want to put my overrides to use, and I just can't because I don't have freaking access to overrides on apexes. It's so frustrating. Son of a gun. Can I get up here? Oh, here we go. I was wondering if I could get up here. Okay, cool. Now, isn't this like... Oh, my gosh. And I can't... Uh, but apparently, Aloy just is, like, incapable of making her way through a children's jungle gym. Because she just drops. There's another shot, I guess. And then let me just take you out. Come here. I really want to actually override some things, but I, I just can't do it right now. There we go. Is that enough? Here, let's finish you off. And we got the long leg here. Oh, that didn't kill you? Here, have that. That should blow. All right, we got you. And now you can die. There's one on the leg. And then... I missed that shot. One more time. Goodbye. Okay, anyway. Back to what I was doing. I want to actually climb up on these things because I want to see where they lead. So pull yourself up, Aloy. Can we please go through here? Thank you. Okay, I could have swore... Oh. Apparently, this is the hardest thing in the entire game, is trying to get through a children's jungle gym. Like, actually and for real. No, I could have sworn there was something up here. There. Okay, there is, a, there is a collectible. That's what I thought. But hold on a second. How do I... Why can she just not grab onto anything? This is so weird. I've never seen this before. Why is this actually the hardest thing in the game? Pull yourself up. She also just refuses to launch off of that, too. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Okay, jump. Jump. Jump again. Okay, thank you. No. I don't even know why she just dropped there. Just for no reason. Just decided, I'm just going to let go. Because we didn't want to hang on to that now, did we? Oh, I thought I had that. 
Okay, anyways, it was just a bunch of brim shine, and it really wasn't even worth my t my time all that much. I just wanted to freaking get over here for crying out loud. There's also this chest over this way. Just a bunch of caches of, of some description on each of one of these things. There's another one way over there I guess I could get, if possible. Dude, she just doesn't grab! What is this? I've never seen her, like, struggle so freaking much. Also, hello there. You came just in time. I mean, is this really how I have to do this? Because Aloy just does not grab onto the things that she's supposed to grab on? Or... Okay, now she does. The one time I don't want her to. Because, you know, that's how that works. Goodness. Let's try this again. Don't land on the freaking... No! 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 Oh my gosh. Let go. Let... <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. It's, it's like they programmed it that way or something. <laughs> this is absolutely absurd. Ugh. Oh my gosh, there we go, finally. That was this the most insane. This is apparently the hardest thing in the entire game. But yes, I think I've grabbed all of the cool things over here. What is that? Gen another generous valuables cache, but I think that's unrelated to this. I think that's just up here. I could have sworn there was going to be like some goodies up here beyond just like a little bit of brimshine, but apparently not. So I will take all of that. I also love the little ride here. Oh, what do we got? We got another data point. Let's take a look. Adventure log. Mommy says I can see Reggie. See Reggie. See Reggie. Addy says Reggie sucks, but Addy is so damn mean, and I love, love, love him. Maybe I can get a hollow sticker for my backpack, and then Addy can eat my ass. I'm assuming that's what it, what it, the kid was gonna say, but man, these kids were just obsessed with these dinos. Man, absolutely loving it here. Like my goodness, what do we have here? Another? Is that another data point? I think I've already read that one. No, yeah, that one's for Walter Laundra, I believe. We've already taken a look at that one. We're only missing like two more data points here in the entirety of the Burning Shores, but I wanted to check these out just for the sake of it. But I think we're uh, just about done here. There is a campfire over here, which is weird. I wasn't expecting that. And I definitely didn't miss anything around here. We're done in Raptor Raid. Yeah, I think we're good here. I think that's pretty much everything that I would want to cover in this area. Um, I can travel to the skiff, but I don't actually want to do that because it's a good excuse for me to grab this campfire here. And I'm also, like, curious. Okay, so th is this, like, an alternate path into the volcano? I guess it is. But how did I never grab that campfire before? That's very strange. Anyways... Very aimless start to the episode, I know. Don't worry, we're going to be doing a whole lot more in this episode. All right, so, first things first. We want to go and fight a Slitherfang. And not just for no reason, I promise you. Like, the Slitherfang, I would love to just not do battle with this thing. I would love to just be able to sneak past it and get this done. But I don't think that's going to be super doable. So we're going to have to probably fight this thing regardless. Luckily, it's just a regular Slitherfang. So it shouldn't be too bad. Now, unfortunately, I can't get any Apex anything out of it for my troubles but right near this slither fang you'll notice there's a camp that camp is important because it's i mean you'll probably be able to tell when we get close to it there's osiram here dead osiram which means and we've only got this one partially unlocked which means that i am gonna have to start there we go fire ice and oh there we go all right, let's start putting this thing down, and we're going to start with one of these. As much damage as possible. Okay, there we go. So we got that. Now let's start putting in some advanced arrows here and getting this thing as locked down as possible as it's going to probably start to shoot things at me here in a second. Come on, keep going, keep going. We're going to try to keep those earth grinders as intact as possible come on Aloy there you go hit it perfect I don't know why that hurt you but now we're gonna hit you with that beautiful 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 hold on we're not done yet because next thing here have those oh man I was only able to hit you with one of them okay let's try it again hold on hold on hold on don't move it's gonna get aggressive here in a second come on that did a little bit of damage, but not as much as I would like. Okay, ow. I've got corroding damage on me. We're fine. I just don't want to use my brace shot on this guy at all. Woo! Okay, hold on, hold on. I can get another one of those. Right there. 
Oh, I think I did take out a, an Earth Grinder, though. I didn't want to. Let me get its tail here really quickly. Ooh, there's some damage. One more, one more. And that should do it, I think. Yes. Okay, down it goes. Now I'm going to heal through that corroding damage. Let's search this thing out. We got all of its Earth Grinders, which is nice because those are really hard to get. Maybe I can learn more about those Osirum. Maybe we can, but what do we have around here? Aha! Old pot. Let's take a look. With more directions carved into it. There's also a note. The Tinburn brothers. I guess they let this crew. Well, that's one more piece of the puzzle. And now we need to go after some more. So that's three out of seven. Where is our des next destination? Okay, so remember this Frost Bellow back over here that kept taking out a random Quen. Uh, not too far from here, and I'm going to actually see if I can get over there in time, but I probably can't. I will certainly try, but it's looking unlikely. Run, run, run. Are you okay? Quen Forager, hold on. I got you. Let me, let me see if I can kill this thing real quick. There we go. There's some damage. Hold on. One more shot. Don't get him. Run away. There we go. There we go. Are you going to die? Oh, please don't die. Let me see if I can save you. Let's hit you with that. Boom. Oh my gosh, the frost killed him. <laughs> okay, well, you know, that's not even important anyway. I was hoping that I could actually save them, but I can't believe the frost damage took him out. Eventually, one of these days, I'll try to save them. Anyways, we are actually looking in this area for a bunch of Osaram corpses. And... I know they're around here somewhere. It's close to one of these tall buildings. Um... Let's see. We got one there. Okay, there's the corpses. Okay, this is the start. So see that ladder up there? That is kind of uh, the... That kind of is the telltale that we're in the right direction. I should check out the area. So I'm going to try to climb up here. Let's get our way up. And we're going to want to do a lot of climbing here. I'm going to kick this ladder down just in case. Come on, Aloy. Pull yourself up. We'll lower that ladder. And I love how this Quen is just in like a perpetual... like just death after death because we can't save them from this situation ancient supply box we got some things here but we're not done next we want to take this all the way over you'll notice there's a blaze drum up there but just follow this um i think we have we have some brim shine above so let's try to get to that but how are we i guess we got to knock that out uh this might not be the place to do it what are they doing up there oof this is gonna be interesting Okay, watch out, watch out. Don't hurt me. Okay, we're good. I should see if there's anything valuable inside. We should. All right, let's bounce back. Got a Delver's cap. And a bunch more brim shine. This Delver didn't trust the crew's leaders. Ouch. Got a the feeling they were looking out for themselves. Getting closer to figuring out what happened to this Delvin crew. Yeah, these Tinburn guys seem to be up to no good. All right, so we've got, let's take a look at our collectibles really quickly. We've got five of them so far, or four of them, excuse me, three more to go. So on to the next one. Okay, for our next spot, we are here at some ruins next to a fire clamber jaw location. Now trying to get this trinket without fighting the fire clamber jaws is gonna be rough. It's gonna be really, really rough. So what we're actually actively searching for as I make some more advanced explosive spikes, uh, is, and maybe if I can actually override one of these clamber jaws, that would help me out a lot here. Ooh. Hold on. Let me see if I can't get into... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm going to actually try to get an override here. I'm going to go in aggressive mode. There we go. Okay, that will maybe help me out a little bit. I can make this a little easier for myself. So I grab more medicinal sky brush. Maybe I can override the last one here, too, and then the two of them can gain up on the Apex one. Didn't mean to do that, but... Oh, we're still recharging. Come on. There it is. And aggressive again. All right, everybody. Let's go. Let's, get, let's pick a fight here. Come on. Do some damage. See if you can help me out here. Oh, here we go. And also, I can also do Override Overdrive. This will be fun. Oh, that's some good damage. Okay, everybody. Have a fight. 
So let's see how they do for me while I try to get away. Come on. Take them out. And I believe once the override ends, they should all just self-destruct too. So that one's pretty much dead. Woo! Holy crap, that's a lot of fire. Okay, machine kill assist. Not bad. Take them out. Take them out. Oh, that one is pretty weak, though. There's a lot of these guys running around. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, that one exploded because it was done for. It looks like this one over here is pretty weak, so I can just finish it off with an advanced arrow. If I cannot miss, that was a really early dodge. My bad. Okay, there we go. That one's dead. Not too bad. And I think that was it for my overrides, but are the rest of them all dead? I believe they are. Okay, so now... Here's the ruins we're supposed to be in. We are searching for a grapple point of some description that we can pull ourselves up onto. And that is pretty much the telltale sign that we're going the right way here. Um, but I can't find out exactly where it is. Is it this? Oh, here it is. Okay. So let's go up. Cool. All right. This is the start. And I think we can make our way across here. Hold on. I probably should actually pull out my focus here, but I know this is the right way. Oh, I fell. Let's pull myself back up. Here, let's let's go up and let's actually use our focus here. Okay, so what do we got here? Nothing over this way. I could have sworn. Hold on. What's that? Oh, that's an, oh, Maybe that's the grapple point I'm thinking of. I might be thinking of the wrong one. Oh, this looks more promising. Okay, never mind. Up here, per perhaps? What's in here? Something. We got like a van of some description, but this is... I know it's around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure we're in the right area. So I was wrong. It was this one, and I was looking at the wrong thing. You see that right down there? That X? Pull caster. Pull on this. Come on. Got it down we go all right this is the place to be child's toy and there are more directions carved into it there's a note too this delver was trapped in here by someone in his crew these also are more turning on each other left and right well another step closer to knowing what became of this crew we are almost done all right let's do another fast travel now, this one's a pretty easy one. This is one that I left actually before. Remember how I mentioned that I there was some brimshine on a crane and then I kind of left it there and didn't actually follow up on it? Well, let's jump back down onto the platform here. And you'll notice there's a cave in here. So let's jump inside and head on in. It's a delver. Crushed. Maybe while trying to dig something out. This hammer's seen a lot of delves. And carved into the handle. More directions. There's a note with it. A Delver died in an accident. Or at least it was made to look like one. Seems the others kept going after that. Should be getting close now to completing the directions. All right, we have one more. Our last one is the very same island where we, where the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel are at. There is, in fact, one of these trinkets here, and we need to find this thing. And I do believe it's on the far side of the island in a spot that we didn't actually go to. So head on over here. Let's go past this thing. You'll notice there's another bunker door up this way, but we need to find a way up there somehow. Now, obviously, we could just take this thing if we wanted to, but there is, you notice there's a grapple point right there that also works. So either way, really, it's up to you. Just take this up. And once we get to the top, we'll open this thing up and get our way in. And there we go. A pint. Looks awesome. And it's got more directions carved into it. There's a note attached. The delver this belonged to was marooned here. Thought they were on a wild goose chase. So their search for the gold hollow turned up nothing. I think I've got all of the directions. Starting from that camp I found. Might as well see if I can find that treasure trove. I suppose so, Aloy. I suppose so. Also, we have a locked treasure chest here. Well, how the heck do we get into that, I wonder? Um, is there like a little data point or something around here? It'd be nice to be able to get into that ancient trunk, but I really don't see 
anything sitting around here. Uh, guys, I think that's actually going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you all so very much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to follow up our lead on this errand in the Delver's Trove. We're going to assemble or get the directions together on the east edge of the aisle at your at our camp you shall begin turn your gaze to the cliff and ascend to its crest where you shall find a place to think and take a drink follow where it runs to where waters meet then between twin palms you must stand walk 20 paces north then turn once more and on towards where the sun rises from the shore we're going to follow those directions as is as opposed to me just going to the spot because that's not as fun we're going to follow the directions and see what we can find and then once that is all said and done, we are going to go after the last of the aerial captures, the last three of these, and try to get all of those done. And that should pretty much cover it for the Burning Shores. That'll just be about it. Um, of course, I did mention that we are going to be returning back to the mainland for a couple of things, and I do want to do that before we actually all but finish the burning shores because there's there's something there's a something really important about the ending of burning shores that i would like to save for the very last episode so what we're gonna do yeah we're gonna take care of that errand we're gonna get the last of those aerial trinkets and then i think we will worry about heading back to the mainland to get the rest of those gauntlet runs done and i don't know maybe the arena challenges i'm still left and right uh left and right on those not entirely sure well, mainly because they're just so freaking hard. They really, really are. And, I mean, as much as I want to just 100% everything in this game, I don't know if I have complete confidence in myself doing it. But with all that said, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much. And I'll see you all in the next one.